Mr. Brown's Bad Day, written by Lou Peacock, illustrated by Allison Friend. Mr. Brown's Bad Day. What do you think is going to make Mr. Brown's day so bad? Hmm. Yeah, there's a banana peel right there. Maybe he slips and falls. Mr. Brown was a very important businessman. He always carried a very important briefcase and he worked in a very important office. He said things like sell, sell, though sometimes he said buy, buy. People brought him important papers to sign and he went to lots and lots of meetings. Mr. Brown was always very, very busy. But no matter how busy he was, Mr. Brown always went out for lunch. Naturally, Mr. Brown took his very important briefcase. It had very important things in it, after all. What do you think might be in that briefcase? Mr. Brown set the briefcase down, and as he ate his lunch, he thought about very important things. But because Mr. Brown was so busy thinking, he didn't notice a baby grabbing the handle of his very important briefcase. And he didn't notice the baby taking the very important briefcase away. Suddenly, Mr. Brown realized that the very important briefcase was missing. My briefcase, he said, I must find it. It's full of very important things. Fortunately for Mr. Brown, the baby in the briefcase were not far away. But unfortunately for Mr. Brown, the briefcase got hooked onto an ice cream cart and the ice cream seller pedaled away. Wait, called Mr. Brown, wait, that's my very important briefcase. Fortunately for Mr. Brown, the ice cream seller soon stopped. But unfortunately for Mr. Brown, some school children accidentally took the briefcase for a ride. Wait, shouted Mr. Brown, wait, that's my very important briefcase. Fortunately for Mr. Brown, the line was moving quickly. If this follows the same pattern, what do you think will come on the next page? Fortunately for Mr. Brown, the line was moving quickly. But unfortunately for Mr. Brown, it seems that the fortunate piece is always paired with an unfortunate piece. Unfortunately for Mr. Brown, when the school children got off the ride, they took Mr. Brown's very important briefcase with them. And then they went to catch the bus. Wait, bellowed Mr. Brown, wait, that's my very important briefcase. Oh, how is Mr. Brown feeling? So upset, frazzled, he's freaking out because he can't get his briefcase. Mr. Brown ran as fast as he could to the bus stop and was just in time to see the bus pull away. Poor Mr. Brown. His hat and jacket were gone and his tie was askew. This, said Mr. Brown, is a very bad day. But the important briefcase was full of very important things. So, what do you think he's going to do? Looks like this kid's going to help him out. Mr. Brown borrowed a tricycle. Even though it was a little too small, he followed the bus all over town, past the tennis courts and around the lake, but he could never quite catch up. When the children got off the bus, they took the very important briefcase with them. Whose bag is this? asked the teacher. Not mine, said one child. Not mine, said another. Or mine, said a third. 
I'm gonna time out for a second. If the teacher asks if something is yours, you don't need to raise your hand or share if it's not yours. She's only asking if it is yours. I had this happen so many times. I would hold up a jacket and ask, whose is this? And the whole class would say, not mine. And the one person who it belonged to would never say, oh, it's mine. Sorry. It's mine, gasped Mr. Brown. And there are very important things inside. I'm still just wondering what those important things are. By now, it was dark, and because it was too late to go back to his very important office, Mr. Brown went home. It was dark and raining. What a day. When he got there, Mr. Brown opened his very important briefcase and checked that all the very important things were still inside it. Hmm, do you think we're gonna find out what's inside? his snuggly blanket, his book of bedtime stories, and his favorite teddy bear. Is that what you thought was in his briefcase? That's not what I guessed. Then, with all the very important things safe and sound, Mr. Brown settled down to the very important business of bedtime. And so it seems that those things were very important because they meant something to him. They were his special things. I wonder what you would keep in your briefcase. What are your very important things? 